check this out. May was it? May 9th, I think it is. It is freaking snowing like crazy. <laughs> I was gonna try to get my Dodge uh, put back together, and I really don't have too much room in the garage. You got everything else in here tractors and garbage and crap. So I was like, oh, you know, it's May. It'll be nice out. No, not nice at all. Look at that, it's crazy. Okay, so today, of course, this happens every time I work on this old piece of shit. And so today I'm gonna to be uh, trying out these Ryobi, uh, sorry, screw extractors. What's neat about the, uh, good thing they have the chart there. So this bolt here, it's kind of in between a two and a three. So I'm gonna drill it out. I like these, sorry. I like these drill bits. Cobalt. 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 They, uh, they're good for hardened steel. A little expensive, but they work good for this. So let's try to drill this out here. I think good about this Dodge sitting up so high. I'm literally just sitting underneath of it. But it is for reason. Yeah, let's try this one here. <clears throat> Okay, well, before we get started, I'll show you. Very important. I'm sponsored by C4 Energy Drake. You have to put some of this on there. There you go. And I'm not sure what that does, but it works. <laughs> it doesn't really. Uh, you need, they have cutting oil, but WD-40 actually works pretty much just as good. You can put something on your screw bit. You don't want too much, just a little bit. It'll burn your bit up this quick. Yeah, let's see how this thing drills. It's amazing that these bolts, they, they tear off so easy, but the second you go to screw them, it's like a nightmare to screw them. Right, well, this camera's kind of in the way. I'm going to put it to the side. Yeah, so it was just spinning on the chuck on the on this regular drill. So I got the impact with the socket on there. See. Oh, damn it. Damn. <laughs> that bites in super tight, but it's just it's rounded that off. It's rounded it right there off. I mean, but it is super tight on there. If I get vice grips on it now, maybe. <laughs> so I welded, I'm oh, sorry, I welded a nut on the end. And let's see. Yeah, broke the, broke the tool right off. Man, that's one stubborn freaking bolt. All right, I'm gonna try drilling it out some more. So the fact that that actually broke before it threads. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, we'll get it snowing. It's crazy. Alright. I drilled that bolt the whole way through. Maybe take the pressure off. Okay. There's literally like nothing left of that bolt. And it just pulled the threads right off. Ah, damn. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, well, there it is. These extractors were no match for the RAM. <laughs> it literally broke. Like, that one broke off in the hole. Pulled threads off. Snapped that one. I don't think I used that little one or the big one. But honestly, these would probably be good for ATVs, motorcycles. Not a truck that's 20 years old. <laughs> I just ended up having drill, drill and tap that hole. So I tried. So I don't know. I mean, for ten bucks, like I said, maybe a motorcycle, but definitely not a twenty-year-old Ram thirty-five hundred. Rest in peace, brother.